The government is trying to play outside the rules of the umbrella final agreement in terms of the peel planning process. The uh, Yukon government, they happen to be governing a territory uh, which has an umbrella final agreement embedded in the Constitution that provides a whole procedure for land use planning. The land use planning process, as it has been carried out so far, is a very democratic process. Well, the Commission has planned, had comments from the public, comments from the First Nation, comments from all affected uh, parties, governments. The final recommended plan was the result of seven years of a well-formed and well-funded public planning process. The government isn't entitled to say, well, all of that consultation, it was interesting, but it really means nothing, and we're still uh, allowed to do whatever we want to do. And now that the Commission no longer is sitting as a public interest body, now you want to do it yourself behind closed doors. It would be dangerous to deviate from the process in the Umbrella Final Agreement. It's an important part of the law of the Yukon. It certainly cuts right to the core of people's uh, faith in the democratic society they think they live in. We're fighting for the future of everybody. It's time for us to stand up now, stand up together. We need to support that final recommended plan. We need to ensure that the Yukon government signs their signature to, to it. And I encourage you all to get out to those consultations, fill up those rooms, tell them why we, why we need this land protected and how much we want it protected. Masicho.